Hey, it's Joseph here. Today I have a box that I want to open up with you guys. As you can see, it's fairly a big box. Hopefully the content is not as big covering the screen too much. So let's go ahead and get it opened. And I must say, it was quite difficult to hold myself to not open this box ahead of time. So here it goes. So obviously you don't really see anything. So let me spin it around. So let me get the paperwork out of the way. So it's been packed really well. And you guys would already know what the content is since you already have seen the thumbnail. And instead of doing a regular laptop review for architectural purpose, I wanted to do a unboxing for this one because it really is a unique one that I have received. So first of all, this review unit has been provided by Computer Upgrade King and this is their logo. And from what I understand, HP themselves do not provide this spec of laptop to consumers. However, the people at Computer Upgrade King would take regular laptops from HP themselves and then they will perform sort of an upgrade to the laptop before it reaches out to the customer like myself here where I demand more spec than usual. So normally HP does not provide this spec. However, Computer Upgrade King has upgraded to 32 gigabytes of RAM and 2 terabytes of M.2 NVMe, which is quite a lot to be honest. And then they also state that customers who order an upgraded laptop will still have the original warranty from the manufacturer because they are authorized to do so from the original manufacturer. And Computer Upgrade King provides an additional 3 year limited hardware warranty on the upgraded components and lifetime phone and online support is what they officially state. So with that spec, they have sent me this unit to review and I want to review against my daily workflow so I'm gonna daily drive this machine for a while and see if it actually works and I suppose that's gonna be second part of this video but for now I want to unbox things so I can get going obviously it's been sealed with their sticker so I'm gonna cut that away okay So there is a nice carrying sleeve, it has HP logo on it. I probably won't be using this one for now, so I'm going to put it aside. And then a nice gold finish. Do I have this upside down? Yep, I guess I do. So there you go, it says Spectra and it is sort of dark color here and the rose gold on the side. I've done a ton of research and this is sort of the color scheme that they are going for. So I do prefer this color scheme over silver. So let's see what color I have. All right, it's got all the original paperwork. And then here you go, here's a laptop. Let's put that on the side and see the accessories first. So more paperwork and then a charger. And this laptop, because it is 15 inch, it is going to consume more power than the 13 inch model. So I'm gonna have to see if it charges with USB-C power delivery ports as well. And then here is a included pen. And this pen is very, very important because I'll be taking notes with hand all the time and also commenting on PDF drawings and such. Those are my daily tasks. So I'm gonna have to use this pen to do so. Let me open that up quickly. The battery is included and I understand HP has two different version of pan and I believe this is a version of a pan that usually ships with the laptop however you can also pay additional fee and get a tilt pan which has a eraser on the back and it is Bluetooth supported so it is an active pan so it kind of drains battery and then you can also charge it with USB-C as opposed to a this weird size batteries and this is a quadruple A battery which is quite typical for these type of styluses such as surface pen so I'm gonna just put that in that should be good to go there are a few more tips that was included in the pack but they seem identical so I'm just gonna leave it inside of the box not really bother with it so let's get this laptop unwrapped oh so actually here is a little sticker that states something so I'm gonna read that off to you 
product may contain performance enhancing upgrades. Side effects may include, but are not limited to, faster computer, fewer expletives yelled while waiting for computer to load, additional 3 year warranty on upgraded parts, 3 years of diagnostics, don't say we didn't warn you, is what it states. Which is kind of cute. Alright, I'm gonna have to undo that sticker, however. So a very nice box, I'm gonna put that aside as well. So we are down to the pen, the charger, and the laptop itself. It's got a really nice finish, I'm liking this. This two-tone design is really attractive in my own opinion. And then the side design is really nice as well. It's looking very slim. For 15 inch device, this is not feeling too large. It has a good weight to it, it's not too heavy, but it feels solid. The build quality seems pretty good, so let me go ahead and open it. So there's always that included screen protector of some kind. So at a first glance without turning it on, this is a 15 inch model, so the screen is quite big. So it's got bezel on the top and the bottom and the really thin ones on the sides. And it's got regular keyboard with numpad on the side. And it's got really large trackpad, which I would like to have in 15 inch models. It has a grill on top. I don't know if that is for heat or the speaker itself. So we'll see what that is actually for. And if I close it, you'll see a power button on the corner like so. And there's a USB on the corner of the device. And on this side, there's gonna be USB-A and then USB-C as well. And then there's a physical button to turn your camera on and off. And I know some people are quite concerned about being able to physically turn your camera on and off. Although that is not really a big concern for me. And then there's also a little slot, I believe that is for micro SD card. So I'm gonna test that as well. And on the other side, there's a full-size HDMI port. And then the hole next to it is for the barrel charger. And then there's another hole down here, which is probably 3.5 mil headphone jack. And onto the bottom, I see speaker grill on either side. So the other one is probably for air vent. And there's a good size air vent. And I'm seeing a little fan that is positioned right here. So it probably breathes through this grill here and also on the side. And it's got pretty lengthy rubber feet. And that is pretty much it. And on to the flexing mode. So this is sort of the presentation mode where the keyboard faces the table and then you just see the screen. And then when I am doing some sort of drawing, I'll lower it down so that it is sort of a notepad mode. And it certainly is nice to have these sort of rubber feet on the keyboard side as well. So when I rest it on a table, it is resting on those rubber feet instead of the keyboard keys. I don't really like that. It's a bit cringy. So it is nice and I'll probably be using the pen. Let's go ahead and turn this on. And also the power button is on the corner. We'll probably go into window setup. Hi there, I'm Cortana and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice. So I usually mute Cortana. Anyways, there's no sound coming from the top, so I do confirm the speakers are only firing from the bottom left and right. Anyways, I didn't want this video to be too lengthy because it's gonna be a while before I can test this laptop fully against the workload that I can throw at. So that's where I'm going to wrap up this video. So thank you Computer Upgrade King for providing me a review unit. I'll be spending some quality time with this laptop and see how it performs. And I hope you guys have have enjoyed this unboxing and first impression video and if you did please like and subscribe to my channel so you can see the follow-up videos of this laptop thank you so much for watching as always I'll see you next time bye <laughs>